What's up Deckers, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be showcasing lossless scaling for the Steam Deck, and we're gonna let you guys know if this one actually makes a difference for the Steam Deck. We're gonna be testing out five AAA games to showcase what this looks like. So if that's something you guys were interested, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. All right, so the first game that we're gonna take a look at here is Cyberpunk 2077. And as you can see here in the settings, I have it set to custom and we're gonna start Start off with frame generation first to showcase what frame generation looks like here as you can see here we're getting anywhere from 40 to 50 fps but i have to say with frame generation here it's not that smooth and again you'll notice with lossless scaling it's a lot more smooth so we're going to take frame generation off here we're going to hit apply and you'll see the fps drop here now we're getting anywhere from 30, low 30s is seen right here. And when I move around, you notice that it's not as fluid as it was with frame generation, right? So again, just want to showcase this one off. It is playable, but you are getting 30 FPS. So here we're going to turn lossless scaling on. And I'm going to see if you guys can notice the difference because I definitely can feel it. So as you can see here now, FPS wise, we're getting middle 50s and sometimes even hitting 60s but you notice that it is more fluid hopefully my capture card is doing a good job covering this but again i am getting better frame rates here with loss of scaling and i do feel like the game is definitely more smooth Moving over to Borderlands 4, so you guys know this game is difficult to run on any device, but we'll start off here. We're going to have a low preset here, and you guys are seeing we don't have from generation on. We're getting 25 plus FPS here. Again, not the best FPS, but you'll see in a bit we'll turn from generation on, like you see right here, and you notice that this is all over the place. So not only is the FPS all over the place, Place, but you are experiencing some stutters with frame generation again look at the fps we're going from low 20s to middle high 30s it's just very inconsistent the frame generation is definitely broken in this game and again that's where lossless scaling comes in because there are some games that frame gen just doesn't work great so we are going to turn this off here we're going to open up lossless scaling here and we're going to apply it and you'll notice if FPS wise it is going to boost the FPS and you notice that it is more fluid and smooth as well so here you're seeing 40 plus fps now with this game and you guys were asking my news video how i was able to play this game as smooth as i was playing it and that's because i was using loss of scaling and you see here again this is maintaining 40 fps plus and it's a lot more fluid so borderlands i feel like with loss of scaling is now playable on the steam deck definitely not the best experience still but it is more playable than previously Absolutely. All right, so the next game that I want to showcase here is Metal Gear Delta, and you'll see that I pretty much have a low send here, and this is a game that does not have frame generation. And again, I feel like where loss of scaling comes in clutch is for games that doesn't support frame generation. So as you can see here, without frame generation, we're getting 20, sometimes 30, as you've seen it hit there. But again, it's not that smooth as you see right here, but watch what happens when we turn loss of scaling on we get high fps and it is a lot more smooth so you see the fps just bump up there now we're hitting high 40 sometimes hitting 50 fps here but see how smooth it looks when you just move in the camera around again it's just a better experience and i feel like for games that don't support from generation this is definitely a good way to get a better experience with just getting high fps but not only that just getting a more smooth experience with your gameplay so again you see this one just stick at that 50 fps and again movement is a lot more smooth but just thought i'll showcase this one off so another game that benefits from loss of scaling is Baldur's Gate 3 because this game against another game that doesn't have frame generation. So you'll see my settings here. I pretty much have everything at low medium preset here and I'm getting anywhere from 30, 40 FPS, which as you guys know is playable. But when you get to X3, it definitely is more demanding. But we'll turn lossless scaling on here and you see it instantly bump up to 60. 
60 fps again i hope my capture card is doing a good job just showcasing how smooth 60 fps is but if you guys are not seeing the difference it's definitely a lot more smooth on the steam deck from when i was playing it but yeah just thought i'll showcase this one off I fell so the final game that I'm showcasing here is Ark Raiders. I'm having a great time with this game. Now, this game I would have to say without frame generation, a lot of scaling does run pretty well, but you do get a performance boost if you do use frame generation here. Now, some people were saying this game previously had frame generation, but I think because of anti-sheet, they had to remove it. But again, with loss of scaling, you can now do frame generation. As you see here, it does hit 60 FPS and it is pretty consistent with 60 FPS here. I fellas just want to showcase this off. Lost of Skeleton is such an incredible app and it's making a lot of games more playable on the Steam Deck. Let us know what your thoughts are on Lost of Skeleton. Are you guys using it? Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.